This is Nick. This is Jack. And this is Robin Hood Snacks. Jack and I got some digestible financial news for you. This is the best one yet, actually. We are covering Apple's one more thing, big product unveil. And then we got Lyft, which has done absolutely nothing. Nada! Nothing. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Jack, for our first story, you're not gonna believe it. Apple just unveiled a new MacBook. I believe it. They even brought back, you know that dweeby PC guy from the Apple commercials? Great guy, the tweed, the whole thing, the khakis, the cargo. They brought him back to tell us that the new MacBook Air is even thinner than the last one. Jack, they cut this thing so thin, can't even see it. <laughs> The new story though is that Apple is making its own brain for its computers. We're talking its own computer chip. They're not as creative as they used to be over there. They're calling this thing M1. This is straight up vertical integration. Apple is trying to do itself more parts of like the supply chain. Jack, remember what used to be inside? Ba -dum, ba -dum. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. The Intel processors, Apple used to use them. Now Apple's like, hey, we're gonna make our own computer chips. It'll be way easier. Right, and that hopefully boosts profits for Apple because they're cutting out a middleman and makes their products more Apple native, like the iPhone, which has been using their own chips for years. Honestly, Jack, I like feel bad for middlemen. Everyone's trying to get rid of these middlemen. <laughs> Tough time for middlemen. Don't tell anyone at a party you're a middleman. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Apple? Apple went vertical yesterday, but we're impressed by their horizontal moves. Snackers, the core products for Apple, it's like laptops, iPhones, iPads, honestly just versions of computers. But Nick, Apple became a $2 trillion company by integrating everything else with the iPhone. Jack, we're talking watches, speakers, headphones. I got like a, one second, I got a whole list here, Jack. What am I missing? Go on. Credit cards, movies, TV hubs. They're all linked to our iPhones. The real value of Apple is the horizontal connections that tie all of its devices and products together. Jack, for our second story, Lyft reported earnings, and it's basically done nothing still in 2020. <laughs> Back to the third quarter earnings though. Rides improved from last quarter a little bit, but they're still half of what they were in normal times last year pre-pandemic. Also, Jack, they did say that they're gonna become profitable at the end of 2021. This is an asterisk right here, adjusted profitable, because remember, I'm technically an adjusted billionaire. All right, so if you're gonna compare Uber and Lyft, it kind of looks like Lyft's not got that much going on right now. Snackers, look at the things that Uber has done since the pandemic began on March 15th. Just this year, Uber Eats got bigger than its ride hailing biz. Uber Freight, turns out it's got like a whole new fundraising round. Then you got Uber Reserve just launched. And he can pass! Uber also acquired its competitor Postmates and launched a deal with Apple Music. This is just during the pandemic. Meanwhile, over at Lyft, just this year, it just hasn't done much. Lyft is still a one trick ride hail pony while Uber's got the whole herd of horses on its back. Perfectly put. So Jack, what What's the takeaway for our buddies over at Lyft? Lyft failed in 2020 and its stock price shows it. Jack, Uber stock up 55% so far this year. Near an all time high. Jack, Lyft stock down 15% so far this year. Near an all time low. Lyft, you got no excuse for doing nothing in 2020 when we look at what Uber's done. Nick, geez, can you send like a get well soon card to Lyft? Man, that was rough. First of all, I think we should send them one of your Slam and Salmon shirts. That looks fantastic. Anyone would feel better with that thing. Slam and Salmon Sammy's t-shirts. Follow us on Instagram at Robin Hood Snacks to get us every day. Or subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Robin Hood app. By the way, Snackers, this is Nick and I own shares of Apple.